Well, hello everyone, you're here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today of which is on Hagrid's Hut Buckbeak's Rescue. So, on the front of the box here, see the usual border, of course, and it says light brick there, Wizard World logo, batteries included, and picture of the whole set in action, or a picture of the whole set there is, and have all the mini things down below. And recommended ages 8 and up, set number 75947, has 496 pieces. And then on the back, see the other shot of it, and a couple of different pictures, and how you light it up, and yeah. And on to the manual, of which, same, pic oh, whoops. same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And after some of the other sets and how the Hogwarts corridor sets come together. And then after Lego Life and the last steps. So now on to the mini things. First of which is Harry. Of which. Similar face print as used or torso print and things used in some other couple sets. You see his double side face and back torso print also there. And next of which is who I think is exclusive to this one is this version of Ron Weasley. Of which nice front torso print, still using the mid legs of course and also an exclusive face print, and then use from the back, and also has double side face, and actually the face print might be common in a couple other sets, of course. And next is, who is exclusive, is this version of Hermione, and of course with her like pink sweatshirt, and using the mid, still using the mid legs, and also print using the uh, time travel necklace, of course. As I'm suiting to this sequence in the movie Prisoner of Azkaban. And her from the back. And see her double side face, of course. And next to which is who gets the name of this set is Hagrid. Of which torso print that is kind of the same as in the Great Hall set. And also using a one of the newer lantern pieces, but like beer piece and face print, also kind of common in a couple other sets. Also, and then nothing from the back, and good molding on the sides of it. And next to it is the Minister of Magic. Of which nice tor good torso print and good face print of which and good use of the like bowler hat piece and if look from the back some slight back torso print and no double side face of which good to get in this set if for your custom minifigs and things and last of which is the executioner of which kind of dark for this set and as you see has the axe piece Although he could have had a little stud to put on his hand to get, represent him sharpening the axe as shown in this scene in the movie. If I take off the hood there. And same problem as a few other figs is where the face print isn't so uh, uh, bright enough for the skin color and all. And there's from the back and also back part of his mask of course. And next up is who is exclusive to this is a new version of Buckby, who we haven't never seen a remake of until now, although we did get a version as a Lego Dimensions add-on pack, of course. And uh, for the wings parts of which, which do come in some other sets, and the Fantastic Beasts one, and 
but the main piece of which, uh, which looks to be pretty much just perfection, well captures it. Let me see. See, see some good molding for the front leg cloth parts, and although it doesn't have any back leg movement, which I think they, which they probably should include in a future version, and the head piece of which, or the head part of which is just perfection, and well captures the look of him. As you can see there. Why is that? Over. Nicely done. And of which one of the other main builds is a small little bit of the pumpkin patch, or has some of the like common leaf pieces, and also two different kinds of pumpkins, which are the newer type pumpkin pieces and also the regular minifig heads in orange, like they often use in some of the older sets, of course. That's like corner piece and a support piece that holds a chain and is holding a uh, handlebar piece. And a smaller chain, so you can put it, get on it and wrap it around, attach it onto Buckby. As, of course, suiting to the scene. Well, we can, of course, detach it and they can get on it and fly off. Is Hagrid's hut itself, in which a quite good step up from the like early other versions that they did over time. <coughs> Where it's like a whole two different sections rather than just one single section. You can see like like plain goods not using the like leaves and tiles there, give it some brickish effect. And also, same effect for the door piece. And as for the roof parts, also kind of like the other versions, but all on a single well, attachment piece, of course. Also, good use of the slopes, which attached sideways, giving it the right uh, edge effect up there. This other side of which. One of those castle panel pieces. There's also a regular panel piece put with which with a sticker, but it does well work for it. But if look from the back of oh, which a good amount of space to put a minifig onto it. Oh like this one side of which. Which of course is a little desk that has oh what if I can get that. Also to note that these sections are kind of a bit modular. So you can like attach them sideways or whatever. But also including do get this nice little printed tile of the daily profit. Saying exclusive Harry Potter and all, and all those also included in the Hogwarts Express set as well. And you have the newer spider piece, like we've seen in Aragog's lair. And for this area, which has a table with a teapot on, and also a good open space to walk through. Also the chair and also a crate that has this looks like a shovel and the uh, pinkish or lavender umbrella as suiting to some of his appearances. As but above of which have a few things hanging like a cleaver, a bucket, whip, spoon, and a pan. And as you can see, the little chimney of which where you can like push it and we've got to push it down kind of hard and it makes the light grip work. Oh, wait. And you can see it's quite working. So it also do have that little thing there where Oh whoops. 
Okay, it's kind of a crap, kind of a fragile one, but it holds together well. Oh, whoops. Also, anyways, that little piece there is where you can put this egg piece which, of course, is to represent the egg that Nordberg, the dragon, hatches out of. Oh. Also, what I would suggest is, on one of these panels, what I would suggest is put another plate underneath it, and that would press the ball joint a little more. And have a clip holding a broom to off the design, of course. Although, what I wish they sh could have done is have either specific mold or at least a mini build of Norbert as uh, suiting to the scene, of course. To the final verdict. So my overall verdict of which this I think a pretty cool set and also good version probably the best version of Hagrid's Hut. Like you get two different sections compared to one and also do get Buckbeak which wasn't included in any sets until now. But also just about perfectly suiting to most of Prisoner of Azkaban of course. And also, do you get a pumpkin patch? Perfect for some Halloween mocks and all. And if you are looking to get this set for your collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And that is about it with this video, and thanks for watching.